Here we have solving a decimal word problem using a linear equation of the form ax plus b equals c. So it says Nicole purchased a prepaid phone card for $25. Long distance calls cost 22 cents a minute using the card. Nicole used her card only once to make a long distance call. If the remaining credit on her card is 1532, how many minutes did her call last? So what we need to do is we need to take, um, we know that she started off with $25 and we need to take out what she spent to equal this 15.32, right? If you read that sentence, make sure you understand the whole little scenario so that if you comprehend what's happening, that helps you to write the equations. If you're just reading the words and trying to pick out numbers, you're not going to get there, okay? You really have to have an understanding of what is happening. So when I read this situation, I understood that she had a card that had $25. She made a phone call, apparently, and now she only has $15.32 left. The hard part is figuring out what am I subtracting to get that 1532, right? Um, and it was actually spent on the long distance call. And I know that they charge her 22 cents a minute. So that means 0 0.22, right? So you, this is $25, this is $15.32. So I have to, I can't write 22. I would have to write it in dollars, which is 0 0.22. That makes it 22 cents. Times um, we can use the letter M for her minutes, right? That would tell. Um, that is the way you determine how to charge her for how many minutes she used. And once I solve for M, I'll know how many minutes her call lasted. So the first thing we're going to do is, oops, I look what I did. I said minus and then I wrote a plus down on accident. So let's keep that together. So if we solve this, we need to move our constants all to one side. So we have 15.32 minus 25. And I get negative 9.68. And then we're going to divide by our coefficient. So I get n equals 44. So then we know that she was on that call for 44 minutes.